As adults, navigating the complexities of managing our money can be quite challenging. Often we turn to our elders for advice or perhaps talk to a group of friends or colleagues who have already started their investment journeys. But what if you could also gain insights from history to better understand how our money can work for us? Hi, I'm Varun Dugirala and welcome to Finance Flashback brought to you by ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. In this podcast, I'll be telling you about the timelessness of finance by exploring various historical stories, not only to learn from the past, but also draw parallels with the present. Whether it's navigating the intricacies of investing, mastering the art of saving, or acquiring the financial know-how to make your money work better and smarter, I'm here to help you get clarity on how you can tackle your financial burdens. So let's journey back to the past to see how we can build a stronger financial foundation for the future. Our historical journey begins in the flourishing Mughal Empire of the 16th to the 18th centuries. Famed for architectural masterpieces like the Taj Mahal, the Mughals were visionary investors in cultural and artistic endeavors. The earnings from these strategic investments echo through time, highlighting the enduring returns that can arise from timely investments in such heritage and culture. These architectural marvels, beyond being symbols of grandeur and power, functioned as long-term investments in cultural heritage. Today, they continue to attract millions of tourists from around the world, making significant contributions to the economy through the revenue generated by tourism. The enduring appeal of these structures serves as a testament to the profound impact and lasting value that strategic investments can have on both the cultural landscape and economic prosperity. Similarly, individuals can consider a comparable approach by making thoughtful and enduring investments that align with their financial goals. While the Mughals operated in a vastly different historical and economic context, certain principles from their approach to governance and finance can be paralleled with the investing and savings practices of the common man today. The Mughals, particularly Akbar, implemented policies with a long-term perspective to ensure the empire's sustained success. Similarly, adopting a patient and long-term approach to investing, allowing your money to potentially grow over time, aligns with the principles of compounding for individual financial success. Just as the Mughals adapted to changing political and economic conditions to maintain their empire, Individuals today can draw a parallel by being adaptable to economic changes, market fluctuations, and global events. This adaptability is crucial for making informed investment decisions in a dynamic financial landscape. The ability to adjust strategies in response to evolving conditions is a shared principle that spans historical empires and modern individual investors. Now shifting our focus on the Mughal Empire to a different era, let's explore the transformative period of the industrial revolution in the United Kingdom during the 18th and 19th centuries. This pivotal period not only reshaped the economy and social fabric of the nation, but also presented unprecedented opportunities for investors. During the Industrial Revolution, the UK pioneered technological innovations like the spinning jenny and steam engine, shifting from cottage industries to large-scale factories. This period saw the widespread adoption of steam power, transforming manufacturing processes and revolutionizing logistics. Rapid urbanization followed, necessitating significant investments in infrastructure. To fund industrial ventures, stock exchanges and capital markets were established, allowing companies to raise funds by issuing shares to the public. Investors who strategically supported technological advancements and urban infrastructure projects during the Industrial Revolution at the early stages were well positioned to benefit from the gains that came from it later. Similarly, in our contemporary context, investors who start investing as early as possible can cultivate financial discipline, harness the power of compounding and enjoy other benefits by identifying promising opportunities and making strategic investments. This historical example serves as a compelling reminder of the advantages that can come with early and informed investment decisions. Our next story unfolds in the 20th century and you've probably heard about it. The Great Depression. On October 29, 1929, a day infamous as Black Tuesday, the New York Stock Exchange witnessed a catastrophic crash, sending shockwaves through the United States. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted, erasing billions of dollars in wealth, marking the onset of the Great Depression. The stock market crash triggered a loss of confidence in the banking system. Depositors rushed to withdraw their savings, leading to the collapse of many banks. 
As the economic conditions worsened, individuals began hoarding cash, driven by a lack of confidence in the financial system and anticipation of more challenging times ahead. The act of hoarding money, reducing its circulation and causing a decline in prices led to deflation, which was a detriment to economic growth. This hoarding mentality prolonged the economic downturn, hindering the recovery process. The reluctance to spend and invest meant the economy struggled to gain momentum, contributing to the extended duration of the Great Depression. The effects of the Great Depression were felt globally, making it one of the most significant economic crises in history. This story highlights the importance of having an emergency fund, serving as a financial safety net during times of economic hardship. Maintaining a long-term perspective in investments is crucial while economic downturns pose challenges, historical evidence reveals that markets tend to recover over time. Hard times are temporary and having an emergency fund is key to weathering such events. This historical context also highlights the recurring nature of economic challenges, paving the way for our next story. The Japanese lost decade during the early 1990s to the early 2000s reflected a period of economic turbulence. Back in the late 1980s, everything seemed great in Japan. The economy was booming and prices were sky high. But suddenly, things took a drastic downturn. There was substantial decline in housing and stock prices, impacting individuals and businesses alike. In an attempt to revive the economy, the Japanese government employed measures like lowering interest rates and initiating large-scale projects. But the recovery was not as anticipated. The economy stayed stuck and many companies struggled. People were worried, so they started saving more and spending less. This era was marked by deflation, causing a continuous decrease in prices and wages. The resulting cautious consumer behavior, coupled with economic uncertainty, led to widespread hoarding of cash by both individuals and corporations. However, this excessive hoarding had its drawbacks. It hindered investment in productive ventures, contributing to a blockage in economic growth. The Japanese lost decade teaches us that while financial prudence is crucial, it's equally important to identify and pursue growth opportunities aligned with long-term goals. Saving money can help provide a safety net, but thoughtful and strategic investment is essential for generating wealth and fostering economic expansion. Balancing caution with a proactive approach to growth is key for well-rounded and successful financial strategies. Don't take it from me, take it from one of the most successful investors of our time, Warren Buffett. Born in 1930, Buffett grew up with a keen interest in money and investments. His story became a legend in the world of finance and aspiring investors looked to him for valuable lessons. Buffett's ability to stay calm during market fluctuations and his commitment to value investing have contributed to his lasting financial success. Warren Buffett is known for his value investing philosophy. Instead of following trends or chasing hot stocks, he believes in carefully analyzing a company's fundamentals and investing in those with intrinsic value. One notable example of Warren Buffett's patient long-term approach is his investment in the railroad industry. In 2009, during the aftermath of the global financial crisis, his company Berkshire Hathaway acquired Burlington Northern Santa Fe, BNSF, one of the largest railroad companies in the United States. In the wake of the financial crisis, railroad stocks, including BNSF, faced significant challenges. The economic downturn led to a decline in shipping demand, impacting the industry. Despite the short-term uncertainties, Buffett saw an opportunity in the long-term potential of the railroad industry. In 2009, Berkshire Hathaway acquired the remaining stake in BNSF that it did not already own. Buffett believed that the demand for rail transport would grow over the years as the US economy expanded. He saw railroads as a critical component of the country's infrastructure. Berkshire Hathaway's ownership of BNSF wasn't about making a quick profit. Instead, it reflected Buffett's commitment to long-term ownership of a fundamentally strong business. Buffett's decision to focus on the enduring value of the railroad industry rather than short-term market fluctuations represents his commitment to patient investing. The success of the railroad investment demonstrates how a strategic long-term perspective can transform short-term uncertainties into lasting financial gains. The right balance between saving and investing is key in sound financial planning. Saving provides a safety net for emergencies and short-term goals, offering stability and peace of mind. On the other hand, investing offers the potential for long-term growth and wealth accumulation 
enabling individuals to be able to achieve their financial aspirations. That's it for today's episode of Finance Flashback with ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. We hope you feel a little more confident about your financial journey. This is Varun signing off. Till next time. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.